Good evening. Hundreds of protesters gathered today outside a primary school in Birmingham in protest at children being taught about same-sex relationships. The pupils were sent home at midday because of safety concerns around the demonstration. Some parents say their children are too young to be told about LGBT families. In a moment, I'll be talking to a teacher who's pioneered an inclusion project and has been the subject of threats himself. But first, here's Joan Rittle with today's developments. Noon, and amid an unlikely combination of police presence and an ice cream van, children are collected early from school due to safety concerns about a planned protest later over lessons embracing LGBT equality. There have been demonstrations outside Anderton Park Primary in Birmingham for eight weeks. I think that we need to respect each other as all communities. So maybe it's not good for the residents who are around here because it's an ongoing thing for weeks and weeks. We're fully support for school side. Yeah, her teachers and teacher is very nice and kindly. If you do not listen, we will protest and protest and protest. Mid afternoon, and the protest is in full swing. Children, our choice. Our children, our choice. Our children, our choice. Our children, our choice. Let kids, let kids, listen to, listen to, listen to. Listen to our children. our children. Protesters insist they have nothing against the LGBT community, saying their children are just too young. A four-year-old doesn't know the difference whether you've got two mummies, two daddies. For them, family is who you live with. So why do we need to start educating people, children of that age, that there is a difference? We need to sit down with the uh, school, with the community and work out what the parents feel is acceptable, what the school feels acceptable and try to find a mutual ground. Got mum and dad with lots of children here, mum and mum making pancakes. The head teacher says children are shown picture stories with different types of families, including those with two mums or two dads. If we are even contemplating that some schools should not say some people have two mummies, what we are doing is a postcode lottery for equality. And she's angry about closing early. It's awful because, you know, we love kids coming to school every day, all day, every day. Every afternoon is important. Um, but at the same time, we have to recognise the safety and the well-being, really, the mental well-being of our, of our children and our staff who have endured uh, a pretty uh, unpleasant end to the day for eight weeks. Tomorrow, a gay Muslim woman will join others at the start of Birmingham's Pride Festival. She spoke out against the school protest. My message to the protesters outside the school is think what you're doing and think of the catastrophic effects you're going to have on the mental health of young people in our community. We have a high suicide rate. We might hide it under the carpet, but it exists. And it's really important to have these conversations. So I want them to think of the children. As children begin their half-term holiday, there's still no end in sight in this increasingly bitter row. The City Council said it's working with police to ensure support is put in place for the school community when pupils return after their week's holiday. The demonstration ended peacefully. Meanwhile, the head teacher says she's received many messages of support. Investigations into previous criminal offences, including threats to Sarah Hewitt Clarkson, continue. Joanne Rittle, BBC Midlands Today. Well, with me now is the teacher from a different Birmingham school who instigated the No Outsiders programme, Andrew Moffat. Good evening to you. Good evening. Uh, and your project is all about um, equality, diversity, relationships, uh, yet it's caused so much conflict. Did you ever expect it to create such strong feelings? Not at all. It's 2019 and it's tragic that a school in, in 2019 is sitting for an afternoon with a loss of learning for children because they're teaching about equality. Mm. Yet, I mean, the Anderton Park closed early today, as we've just been saying, um, because of the demonstration, safety fears. Where is this all going to end? Well, uh, schools need to be uh, teaching about equality because we live in a diverse city. Birmingham is an area of super diversity. Uh, you can be Muslim in Birmingham. You're proud to be Muslim, proud to be 
have black skin or brown skin or white skin, to have disabilities, also to be gay or lesbian. So schools need to find ways to teach about this uh, successfully. But, but, but the main criticism seems to be that, that some of these children are too young to be talked about, to talk to about same-sex relationships. They can't grasp it. Some of these children have two mummies or two daddies and they're very capable of grasping that they have parents. And if children don't have two mummies or two daddies, again, it's just about different families. There's nothing confusing about this. Children are very comfortable talking about different family members. Are they really comfortable? Absolutely. All, of them? All families are different. Some families have a mum and dad. Some have just one mum or just one dad. Some families live at their nam. Some families have two mums or two dads. Okay, what do you say to people whose religion makes them diametrically opposed to all this? I think it's all about interpretation because I meet lots of people of, of different religions who are fine with this. But in the end, it's about coexisting. And we may disagree on some parts of equality, but we can still coexist, we can still live alongside each other, we can have debate and dialogue, we can talk about things, but the bottom line in the end is that we're preparing children for life in modern Britain. And you're sticking to your guns. You've had threats, haven't you? I have had threats. I've had some very nasty emails and messages. I've also had hundreds of messages of support from across the country. So we've got to find a way to make this work, and we will find a way. And tomorrow, of course, you are leading the Pride Parade in Birmingham. Absolutely. Which what is does fantastic. that mean to you? Oh, it's absolutely wonderful. I'm leading it with my Muslim friends, Kakan and Saima. What, with um, them up front? Arm in arm, absolutely leading arm in arm with my Muslim friends. Yeah. Uh, and uh, it's so important, isn't it, um, in this time, at this time that we are showing, that's what Birmingham is like. pictures here from last year, you know. That's mm. what Birmingham is like. It's not the protest outside schools. That's not Birmingham. This is Birmingham tomorrow in the city centre. They're talking about 80,000 people turning out to support Pride. That's Birmingham, mm. supporting diversity and difference and, and community cohesion. OK, Andrew Moffat, thank you very much for coming to talk to us. Thank you. Thank you.